In a previous lesson, we discussed how you would configure and manage your public folder database settings from within the properties here of your Exchange Management Console. In this lesson, however, we're going to discuss configuring individual public folder settings on individual folders. Now, in order to accomplish this, you have to go back to the Public Folder Management Console, which we find under Toolbox. And here it is in your toolbox. We double click that. And you recall that this opens up an additional console. Here we see our default public folders. And these public folders are a little bit different from one another. For example, Los Angeles and New York are simply public folders that are not mail enabled, whereas London is a mail enabled public folder. We're going to see how having this mail enabled will change some of the settings for this folder. So let's take a look at New York here. If we right click and we go to properties, we see that there are three tabs general, replication, and limits. The general tab will show us standard information, like the total number of items that are in the folder or the size of the folder, when it was last modified, and so forth. There's one checkbox maintain per user read and unread information for this folder. This allows a user to see if a message has been read or unread in Outlook. Next we have the Replication tab. From here we can determine if we want to replicate the content to other public stores. Now if you don't have any other public stores out there then there will be no one to add to this list. In this case it shows you the one server with a public folder storage group. But obviously in larger organizations you would have additional servers, additional public folder databases, and then you can add various folders to those public folder storage groups. They're called replicas. Now in this case, it's using the public folder database replication schedule that we discussed in a previous lesson. If you don't want to use the public folder replication schedule for this folder, you can deselect this and you can establish your own schedule. You can also determine the local replica age limit in terms of days right here. The final tab is the limits tab where you can see that by default it uses the database quota defaults, retention defaults, and age defaults. You can change this by deselecting any one of these options and determining your own deleted item retention or database quotas or age defaults. Now you'll notice that there's a difference with London because London is mail enabled. If we right click and choose properties, we do have general, we do have replication, we do have limits, but because it's also mail enabled, it has an email address all of its own. There are mail flow settings. It's a member of whatever organizational units that you have configured here. And here we see Exchange General. It has an alias display name. So once you mail enable a public folder, the properties change to provide for the mail settings that a regular mailbox would have. In addition to the replication and limit settings that a standard public folder would have. So we hope you found that helpful, and we'll see you in the next lesson.